You know, one of my favorite scriptures is Psalms, the 24th division, uh, the first verse. Uh, the psalmist says this, he says, the earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. When you think about kingdom concepts and kingdom's agendas, you have to start from the aspect that it all belongs to God. For God is a king, more specifically, he is the king, and we are the citizens of his kingdom. So when you think about a kingdom concept, you have to understand that the earth is the Lord's. We all belong to God. Listen, to bring it more closely, Colossians, the first chapter, the 16th and the 17th verse, the Apostle Paul says this, he says, for by him were all things created, meaning God created all things. Things that are in heaven as well, things that are in the earth. Paul said visible things and invisible things. Whether there be thrones, dominions, principalities, powers, all were created by him. And listen to what verse 17 says. It says they were created by him for him. He is before all things, and by him all things consist. So if you're really going to practice a kingdom mindset, you have to understand that God is over all. For see, it was out of love that God created man and gave man dominion, not only dominion, but gave him responsibility over the earth. Here is the concept in the picture that we must observe. Earth is really a similitude of what God expects his kingdom to be like. Uh, to paint that more vividly, earth is just a picture or a prototype, if you would, of the kingdom of God. So God gave us the responsibility, man, to maintain the kingdom. So he gave us dominion. And I say this because whatever things in your life are challenging you, understand that you as a kingdom citizen have dominion. This is our opportunity as man to participate in the kingdom of God and knowing the fact that God has given us the responsibility, you and I, has given us the responsibility to maintain his earthly realm or his earthly kingdom. Since God is the creator of everything and he reigns over all things, his role as creator and his authority over the earth and over all creation manifests itself in you and I. So my question is, if you're in the kingdom and I'm in the kingdom, then we should be exercising dominion over all those things that are around us. This is another kingdom moment. God bless you.